Hello everybody out there, I am Bones. Uh, we are doing the Caribbean sale today on our Let's Play. Uh, I am actually very excited about this one. I had a look at the screenshots, the video. Uh, somebody in a few different reviews equated this to basically Oregon sale and all the fun of that. One thing I really dig is, you can see right off the bat, I wonder if I can, like, harpoon these. <gasps> you can, you can. Right off the title screen, there's like a mini game there. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it does anything. Is this a secret? Am I being sneaky beaky here, guys? Am I finding a secret? I don't know. But the fish are kind of hard to resist not trying to harpoon a little. Um, I am a sucker for pirate stuff. I know a lot about pirates, actually. Uh, Edward Teach, aka Blackbeard, is. One of my favorites. He is actually going to be one of my tattoos eventually, his flag. Uh, Calico Jack is another favorite of mine. So guys, settle in. Grab yourself a, a pop or whatever you guys uh, are doing or some nachos. Always recommend nachos while we watch our videos or, you know, whatever you guys are into. Um, and let's play the Caribbean Sail. Name my crew. Well, first of all, if I'm the captain, I gotta name myself Captain Bones. Uh, who else do we want on our voyage? Uh, Gary would be pretty upset if I didn't pick Gary, and obviously we need Shelly on our voyage. So we got Jenkins. Let's do Space Cat. Um, if you, if one of our Let's Plays, I say it's real name, so if you haven't watched our stuff, let me know. See if you can figure out which Let's Play has his real name. Uh, I mentioned it. I should tell you a little bit about Space Cat too. Um, and of course, Mutant Dog. The giant dog you see in my videos. He was actually a giant, yet small dog. He's a profession. Missionary. Uh, <laughs> or as they call it in the adult circles, vanilla. Little joke there. Little nudge nudge, wink wink joke. Sanctimonious and highly motivated. Starts with his entire life savings. Score multiplier. Starting gold. So he's got a little money. I'm interested in that score multiplier though. That may be good. Notice that I'll make a living anywhere with water. Gets the most food for his fish. We might go with him just because even though, uh... Oh, jeez, oh, feats. He's got some bling bling. Carpenter, probably had a hand in building your ship. Trick tips, half damage in battle. So, see, the score multiplier for the missionary is the greatest, but he also starts with the least. So, I feel like he's hard mode. Fisherman, I feel like, is moderate. I feel like Carpenter is easy mode. Navigator, most qualified to be a captain. Never get... Lost his way in a storm and never will. So what it comes down to is, uh, the more money you get, the less score multiplier you get. Snobby, entitled, classist, and rude. How does he get away with it? Money. Surgeon. Possibly a butcher before taking on the sea. That is actually true. A lot of former butchers, when they came out of work, did a lot of, like, impromptu, what they would call ad hoc doctoring. Uh, crew, I like. Are unlikely to die after amputations. That's pretty good. He see this guy's. Um, they have a nice little selection here right off the bat. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, to the uh, dev, love what you've done here with keeping the old, uh, almost Commodore 64 look. I was a huge Commodore 64 geek. Um, I told you guys before. I'm an 80s kid. We did all of our programming, by the way, on a Commodore 64. I took a uh, class in BASIC, which was basically make the asterisk, or as the book called it, the turtle. The bullshit, it was just an asterisk. Uh, do this line, do that line. So it would be like 10. Print. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, you know, 20. Do this. And then at the end, of course, it would revert back to um, end. And then you'd run the program. Then it we started to learn dope go to. But anyway. Um, so yeah. The raft is tiny and slow vessel. It is also very cheap. Sleep. Sleep is small. Eh. 
Oh, so you can actually unlock other ships. I dig that. Uh, what kind of ship, guys, did... Uh, whatchamacallit sail? Blackbeard. Do you know? Obviously, we need a shop. Harpoons instead of guns. I dig it. Luxuries. Okay, so luxuries to me are kind of like um, items, item shop, nut, bait, apples, medicine, and shanty. The nut seems costly, but I see what they're doing there. I feel like the nut is going to get us some stuff. You need to fight scurvy. Does anybody actually know how um, they did really fight some of this stuff back then? How they fought scurvy? How did the British military fight scurvy? Do you guys know? It's actually quite, uh, quite fascinating. I feel like we need a cannon. You know, we need at least two. Um, I tend not to buy a ton of food. Only because I do, I'm doing the harpoons. So harpoons are clearly like bullets. Oh shit. Uh, I did not get a spare sail at all. Some of you are gonna yell at me. Do I do I need to do that? Twenty-five, so okay. I didn't need luxuries either. You know what? We're gonna make money on the open sea guys, so we're just gonna say damn the torpedoes and we're gonna go with this. We're whalers on the moon. We carry a harpoon. But there ain't no whales, so we tell tall tales. But we sing our whaling tune. You're welcome. Alright, what's the pubs? Now somebody told me here... Uh, how to play Lyra's Judgment. I know how to play real life Lyra's Judgment. We actually play Pirates of the Caribbean. I own a four cup set of their pirate's dice. I will warn you all though, if you do get it. Um, some people have reported, I noticed it with ours, they smelled very badly of the paint used in them. So I set mine outside for, uh, you know, some place you know they won't get stolen for like about a week. Um, like on the porch and just let them kind of air out and that took the scent away and they're fine after Flip over your cup to begin around most over your cup to peek at your dice try to guess the value of the dice that is less than what is under Try to guess a value of dice that is less than what is under both cups Your opponent will bid guess if you're lying or say spot on if you think there are less dice than the bid Click tell I. If you think the bit is exact, click spot on. Your opponent loses a die if you're correct when someone has lost their defense game. Okay, so this is a little different. Uh, normally in Lyra's Dice, what you're doing here uh, is you're basically trying to guess correctly what you think your total and the total of everybody else's dice are on the table. So say everybody. Because they're rolling six-sided dice normally. So say you got three people that are rolling uh, the dice. And you see a few, like, uh, uh, ones. You're trying to guess. You would say the first bid would start with the lowest die number. And you could do however many you wanted. When somebody reached six in that number, you'd move up to two. It's three, it's four, it's five, sixes. But then if nobody called lie, you would start over at one again and and keep going. Eventually somebody would get caught out in a lie. Uh, if the accuser is uh, proven wrong and the person does have that number, the accuser loses a die. If the liar gets found out, they lose a die. 
etc etc so this one is um close to it shit there's no point in doing it if i uh get no money maybe we should go back to the shop and at least get a good five bucks going here so maybe we can do some gambling what do you guys think i'm gonna try a little gambling Oh my god, my chat is crazy. So I want to do one that's... That's kind of cool how they've done that. <laughs> Raise your earth for me! I won't look. Alright, so I got two ones. Do I think he has any ones? Uh, how many ones do I think he has? We'll go with three. Now I either have to move up one now that he's done four, or call a lie. They could very well have two ones. That's what makes this game hard. We'll call a lie. Good thing I didn't wager. My turn now. Flip top. Oh, okay. So in this one, you can just go straight up the ladder, right? Three fours. I ain't got a four, so unless he's got three fours, uh, then he's a liar, and I'm gonna call him a liar. It's gonna say, if I ain't got any and he's doing both of us, then he's bullshitting. Uh, what's my good here? I don't have a single one. And we each have four dice left. It's not unreasonable to except that he would probably have a one. Okay. So spot on still makes me lose a dice. I ain't got a one. Do I think he has two ones? He has four dice. Now we each have three. Make your bid. Uh, this game actually is one that I used to always carry five dice on me. I'm big on dice games. Um, I'll show y'all my lucky dice. These are real. These are my lucky dice. I've had these since high school. Um, so a while ago. Like I said, I'm an 80s kid, so you guys can guess I'm in my late 30s here, and you're correct. Um, we used to play Sila with these on craps, but uh, normally we grab two more and we would play Liar's Dice 2, uh, so all three, really. If you don't know how to play CeeLo, you should look that up. Basically, like slot machine, the dice. It's also used a lot in hoods. Hoods, I heard. I already have one three, or one, uh... I have one one, so I can say that that's correct for sure. Call me a liar, I dare you. I don't know, dude. Don't know. Two ones isn't that unreasonable. He could have one. I'm gonna call him a lie. Son of a bitch. Now, we haven't even started uh, to show you how much there is to do in this game. We haven't even started sailing yet. There are no way there are three threes. He, did, he would have had to, out of all three of his, roll all threes. 
back. I am not doing good here, guys. Now, uh, oh, okay, okay. So I actually had no idea what the hell I was doing. We're gonna mess with them a little. We're gonna call one four. He's right. <gasps> that son of a bitch. No. We don't know enough of the mouth works. <laughs> Last year it was cold enough to freeze the balls off the brass monkey. Have you ever seen the balls fall off the monkey? I can't say a party like that, so no. Alright, now see, this is what I mean here. This is straight out of like, um... Man, I'm super excited. Are you guys ready? Got a little game win. Let's set sailing. Destination Nassau. My inventory and ship information can be found in the logbook. So there's my logbook. Condition's good, adequate portions. Go fishing. Uh, we got some food. Oh shit. Kind of a timing thing, it takes you a little while. So you don't want to hit directly, you want to hit kind of as they're landing. Let's get a sea turtle going. Shit. That, for the record, I totally had that. I'm just kidding, I did not. I'm horrible. Oh my god, there's those! Merlins, yeah, baby! I'm not gonna lie, I'm already loving the harpoon. It uh, gives it something different, I think, this game does. Oh, there's a little treasure! Uh, treasure turtles! I am ridiculous. Guys, I'm way too excited about this. But I love the little music too, it's funny, isn't it? Okay, now that's cool. Little animation there for the fish, I thought. Alright. There we go. So that should help our hunger. Let's check our logbook. Journal. Type to write. Alright. We began without a backup sail because I was forward at my the wounds. Also, I think the bartender had it in for me and the uh, liar's dice. Today we did some harpooning. Not our best, but not bad. I feel like that's good. This is our inventory. Look! Water! <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty funny right there. I also actually like that I can just do a captain's log there. Um, our conditions are good. Ship's log. English enzyme. Alright, so. We're sailing. We're sailing. Um, now, I don't know what else to do here. I don't know if I land anywhere else. Oh my god, this game got even cooler. You dog is typhus. No! Okay. Oh, schnau. So, so, we've been, like, clipping along. 
There's the arrow keys and space for to aim and shoot. Okay. So this is kind of like that old game, uh... Some of you remember this, but do you guys remember the old game, um, Scorched Earth? Yes! So this whole time I've been just goofing around when I really should have been sailing faster. Uh, I am sorry, Dub, I did not know that. Your charts mark a reef ahead. You could try to cross it. You could sail miles on the way to avoid it. <sighs> Let's take a sounding. I feel like there's no way I'm not going to scrape, scrape that hole. Hot damn nibble. Oh, what? Oh no. What am I going to do, guys? We're not doing very well here. My people are going to start going crazy and maybe kill me. I don't know. Right, this game ends up short. I might, I might play a few games of this. Because this is pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we learned a few things here. Which are that uh, we need to really pay better attention to what we're doing. Uh, I would like it if there was something I could do. Am I going to find... Oh, look it. It's on now. Please find food on this one. Please. Get it. Dang your spot your English on and bring you aboard. Trade. Thank you. I need a harpoon. Very badly. Yes, we do. Oh, the man down. Sorry. Alright, guys, I really feel like I could totally, like, live in this thing. You know, I would love to. Um, I also like that he has a different cup. He has a chalice. I actually didn't even look flying. Flying solo. I don't know why I thought it was preposterous since there'd be two ones, that was my great. Three sixes. I got one six, it's entirely possible that there are three sixes. getting straight up murdered in this game. What do I think he has? Let's go with threes, right? Because I know I have at least two threes. So I can do that easily. Call me a liar, please. Call it a lie. Oh my god, you punk. This captain is whooping me. I do like, too, if you guys are noticing, his expression is changing. Um, man, I am a sucker for dice games. Two threes. And also, I think he has, has, um, how do you spell on? You son of a bitch. The more time I don't fight, lie. This is it, guys, for all my barleys. Mm. 
If she has a two, she does not. Well, it's a good thing I'm a game win on this one. Here's the ir irony of the cell. I'm actually very good at real life dice. Long live whatever monarch is sitting on the throne. Um, no, I do really like that this game seems to have some good humor to it, too. You know? So we need to fish, like, now. I also like that I only lose my harpoons if I don't do decent with fishing. I think that it is nice. Um, if you remember an Oregon Trail, you lost your bullets no matter what. So here, the harpoons have a better value. Although apparently I still suck. But, uh... I'm not gonna lie, I'm having a good time with this game. Um... We will definitely have a link for this one down there, but my, my early review of this, right off the bat, is this is a very charming game, and you could do worse by far with your money, so get it. Personally, if I had to give you guys advice, I would say try it. No mutant dog, it's died of typhus. You found Flotsam and retrieved a Dutch flag. Oh, clever! So we can actually mess with the flags we're carrying. Um, supply list. Yeah, we are doing horrible. Alright, now that's pretty funny. Now, in case y'all are wondering, by the way, uh, some of you wonder why my hands are so beat up lately. I've been doing some uh, extra handyman stuff, and it's not great. Shelly has died. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're all gonna die very quickly in this one, because I did not manage this. Yeah, we're done for, man. I died. Yes, I would. Hey! Achievement unlocked. Gone for not, uh, but not forget. I want to talk to you guys about this feature right here. I think it's awesome. This is a message in the bottle, but these, this portion is online. So you never know. You, you could read other people's message in a bottle. gonna say arg. Uploaded message. So you never know. I may find a message in a battle when I do this. So let's give this another try because I'm kind of addicted to this already. Um, man. What a fun little game, right? Eh? We're gonna keep the same true name. Get the most food for his fish. Um, God, I don't know. This little jerk here doesn't get any sort of thing. But he's got the most money. We're gonna go easy mode on this puppy here, right? So let's, let's... And I know we're going easy mode, guys. But, uh, I sucked and I feel like I need to practice, so... Twenty herpes. Sixty cannonballs. Four cannons. Five cannons. We are gonna be a beast when it comes to this stuff. Obviously, this is easy mode. Um, the downside to easy mode is quite obvious. I don't get any extra stuff. Oh, man. So we've done it all. So let's... I went the harder route. Let's see what the easy route looks like. Get 
Dude, I cannot get this song out of my head now. You realize I'm going to be singing this later. Uh, to the development there. One thing, too, I like is that there is color in this game, but I feel like it's appropriate. There's not too much. It sees a really nice sort of cyan green. Um, I'm going to take a sounding. What do you guys think? you think that's enough to... The water depth there seems a bit deeper than the hollow. It's a long reef, but we're gonna try it. That didn't sound right. Okay, that's just the tense music. Oh, look at there! Um, I like games that are done where you can tell the developer it's a lot of heart put into it, and... Uh, let's be quite honest, I think this is one of those, you know, this is a really fun, fun game. Um, I'm not even, I'm not even playing around here, this is a, oh, I get the same captain's log. Yeah, so that is my captain's log. Let's use a spyglass, the ocean lays before me. Uh, let's use the trolling net. Check that out. That's actually some pretty decent animation. Um, now, if, Dev, uh, did you use some sort of, like, if this is all just done with different, like, pixelation work, that's pretty smooth looking. Oh, dude. The trawling nut is amazing. Can I just say that? Huh? Uh, I tell you what, guys, we're going to try to write this down. Did I just figure something out? Did I get a little... Did I get a little hint? What is this here? Somewhere I have, like, a little junk... Junk paper here. I usually keep a junk paper. This is... Let me show you something. This is my cup of... Uh, pens. That's how you know that you've totally hit adulthood to like the boring weird part um, is when you have a whole thing of pens. I am a sucker for gel pens. Uh, I I used to do some amateur writing, some ghost writing, stuff like that, and I even uh, um, due to a non-disclosure agreement I signed years ago, can't tell you what video game it is, but there is a company with a video game uh, and I helped to write a fan-made add-on for it. I wrote the story. Um, I am actually working on my first uh, book of short stories that is steeped in horror, but will have a little variety. Some will just be bizarre and weird. You never know. So we wrote this. Um... Now, if this is a real Steam uh, thing, I apologize to you all, because um, I will definitely have already used it, so please don't try to use that, because it can work. I don't know what- I oh, look at the lightning! Space Cat, no! Can I hold on, where's my supplies? I need medicine. Inventory, medicine. There. So we got some medicine going in them now. Relax, guys. We got this, baby. Um, you know what I just thought of? I did not think of here until now. But, uh, can we, uh, can we, like, let them rest? Can they rest at all? I feel like they might need to rest. Also, how often can I use the casting nut? Because if this is just easy mode food, then I will take it. Jeez, oh, Pete's look at that. And so obviously this is kind of what this is. So they're chummy. You gotta be nice to your fellow Englishmen, you know. 
I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh my god. Uh, we need some apples. We definitely need some apples. Oh no, some scurvy. We're gonna purchase that. We're gonna purchase another shanty. Because it's a high bear brewery. So I like that these shanties are how you trade music. That's, I think that's pretty cool, actually. I'm not trusting playing uh, Pirate Stars this time. I feel like I... Uh, Frankly, I feel like I goofed around with that a little too much last time. So, first things first, guys. Let's have a little look. Do a little dance. Get down and up. Alright. Now we're gonna... Uh, we're gonna rest a little. Give them a little rest and hope that... Uh, nobody dies, because, uh, I would be pretty bummed. Crew log, ship log. Captain's log. So I feel like in different areas, it's going to be beneficial to make sure that I get that. This net, though, I don't think I'm going to try playing it without that net again. Look, water! I did it in that voice, because I feel like... Uh, that game was a good idea. <laughs> this game, uh, this game is funny, man. I definitely enjoy this game. No, not dysentery. Anchor, anchor, anchor. Uh, also, if I'm doing the wrong thing here, when it comes down to uh, this trawling net, is certainly worth the money. The game can try some stupid reason to take your net. Are you? I know one reason you could put there um, is, you know, the cra a Kraken took your nut would be good, I think, you know, Kraken attack. Or, let's get Kraken. That's horrible, don't do, don't, don't do that one, guys. Oh, there's a bunch up there. I think I'm getting a little too greedy here with the food, but... Jeez, I'm horrible with these harpoons. One day I'm literally just going to spend some time off camera learning how to use these harpoons. Um, any of you who own this game, give me some advice here on the harpoons. What? Ah, <laughs> he had a top hat. He had a top hat. He was prim and proper. He was a gent. I love that. So the sea turtles are our best bet for food. Okay. Um, now we're going to let them rest a little, man, because I don't like the idea of anybody having... Look at how sick my crew is. Three have uh, illnesses. That's not good. So, journal. Oh, okay, so I can change the journal here. All right. Uh, I would like to do a multi-page captain's log sometime. If they ever do that, and an update would be nice, I think. Or like to let it reset after you die. And you can just start a fresh captain's log. Um, let's see here. Tons of food. I swear to you, while I really can spell. But the crew is ill, and not in that cool 80s way. Hope they recover, or we're all screwed. Argh. I feel like that's an, a, a, a decent representation of what's going on here. Alright, so we're trying, man. How often can I medicine? Apparently that's as often as I can medicine. Um, also, I wonder what happens if a ship approaches me. Can I... 
Was it too late then to switch sales? Can I switch sales? Um, what should I do, guys? Do I, uh, what do you guys think I should do? Should I, I mean, I got a long time left here, and I'm, like, losing days. But I don't want to move all of them on the open friggin' sea like this. This is kind of madness. Three out of my five crew members are not great. We got more than enough food, so we're not doing bad there. So I'm trying to give them maybe a day or two to rest. But uh, if this next day happens and none of them improve, then I'm just going to have to push forward. I don't really see any other way around it. No. Nope. Off we go, guys. And ring. Shelly is well again. Alright, good, Shelly. Because Shelly has a, a snail shell, so. Um, in case y'all are wondering, Shelly is actually. Uh, or taking over to her. Uh, after interrogating the crew, we discovered that Shelly's been s uh, snitching larger portions. Punish Shelly? Yes! Shelly's fine. Oh, you can flog your crew! That's some gangsta stuff. Look at this, Shelly! Let's do to you! Look. Shelly is a big member of our crew here. So I'm not gonna badmouth the real Shelly. But Game Shelly, that's some cool shit you did on us. Can I do my song? Especially with my horrible fishing. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn the, uh, my phone down. Although none of you will ever guess my ringtone, it's still one of those things that, uh... Somebody actually, uh... We actually already had somebody try to guess what my ringtone was. And they were nowhere near correct. That clearly, it sounds like I made money too, so I don't know. Um, I feel like this is actually a game that Gary or Shelly could play. Actually, this is uh, my best friend and his lady uh, have just wrote. Now, Gary has dysentery. Not my co host. They're gonna do a movie night, so we were discussing bad movies. Um. I'm out of medicine. I'm out of all this stuff, and now I got just Terry. Terry bounces back quick. It's because he's a puppet, so you know. When did Pope Francesca die? I transcended the box. I believe I just grabbed a uh, note. <gasps> Gary, no! I mean, I am like, I got all sorts of stuff wrong with me. Let's look at this here. I got influenza. My <laughs> we all have influenza, and Gary's condition is abysmal. If this doesn't prove to you all that money does not buy everything, then I don't know what to tell you. Because we were on the fast track to success here, and man, still are not now. Come on, Gary. Call three for me, buddy. Let's do some generous courses. No! I 
type of damn turtle. No, I didn't. I would actually say this game is quite accurate, I think, when it comes down to how much I suck. When it comes down to fishing. Uh, for one thing... I just want to say to the, uh, the dev of this game, thank you for making a game like this, because this... Man, the nostalgia is insane. Like, I'm super, super hyper and excited about this. I'm like a freaking... You ever, do you remember the first time you saw, like, um, Stranger Things in Season 2 and they did the Ghostbusters episode? If I had a tail, it would have been wagging, alright? This game is nostalgia right off the bat. We used to, um, Oregon Trail is how the teachers would get us out to do our homework. This is true. They realized that if... They said, okay, well, you guys can go on the computer after you get your homework done. Everybody did their homework. Because um, it was either this or Police Quest we all wanted to play when it came down to Oregon Trail. Was, um, probably because they're the only two games we had in class. But also, you know, Oregon Trail was fun because, and I know all of you did this too, don't even lie. Where you put in the name of people that drove you nuts. Because you were like, ah, I hope they get dysentery. Um... I don't know if a Kraken is a random event in this, but I think it would go quite nicely in this game. I will say that. Um, now, one other thing I want to talk about about this game that I really dig is that the dev is actually making a free DLC. Instead of nickel and diming the fans, they're doing things, uh, he's doing things where he is trying to make sure that he is listening to fans, um, Quite responsive, from what I understand from people. Sweet. That is crazy, do you see that, guys? So that was pretty cool right there. Yes, what are we going to do this time? Let's do a little self-promo. <laughs> Sorry, Dev! Alright, well, this has been Caribbean Sale. This game is not very expensive, but obviously uh, a lot of fun. And I gotta say, uh, I'm gonna be playing more of this this week, man. This is a fun game. This is staying installed for quite some time. So if you have me on your friends list, you'll see me playing this. This is a very um, fun game. Um, I'm even gonna say it, and I'm gonna get some hate for it. I think easier to play than Oregon Trail. Uh, the events are more humorous. It really nicely catcher, captures the feel of the sea. Because there are no land events, if you notice. So that, that kind of, in a way, uh, it makes you feel like, oh god, oh god, you know, are we going to be alright out here? Which I think you should have that feeling. You're sailing in the open sea. Um, fun game, though. The dev has free stuff coming up, so get it now. And, you know, it just got updated yesterday, actually, so we were waiting for the update before we gave it a try today. And uh, I'm very pleasantly surprised. For me, this is a buy, so I recommend you all go out there and get it. If you like what you see, as always, with all our Let's Plays, click the link I'm going to put in the description. It'll take you right to the Steam page of this game. Um, you can see the charm in this game is ridiculously fun. It is a, a great game. Uh, we did two left, you know, playthroughs of it for you all, but I could probably just spend the rest of the day playing this. But an add up to cook and all that other good stuff. Um, so as always, I am, uh, Bones. Please make sure to subscribe, give us a like, um, 
comment down below what you thought of the game or uh, some other, you know, old, old computer games, some retro games you guys like. Um, even comment and tell us what you thought this game reminded you of. I, are there other games this game reminded you of? Um, what are some things you guys would like to see in this game? Me, personally, I don't know if it's an event, but I think a Kraken would be a good excuse for something that steals your net. Um, even if you did like a little black and white picture of like a, just a tentacle, and then the report of a Kraken, I think would be more than adequate. And it would, you know, add the, the fear of the Kraken. That would be a cool one. Uh, maybe at some point there could even be an event where instead of fighting a ship, you had to fight a Kraken. It would certainly be creepy. Um, I love the variations on the fishing. I like that the fish are different. I like that I got to nab that one treasure one was really cool. Um, and I, I, I'm guessing that's how you find treasure aside uh, with, you know, rundown ships and all that. Maybe uh, some other piratey treasure things might not be bad. I love that you put Liar's Dice in this. Uh, a very underrated game. Very underrated game, honestly. Um, down the road for DLC, maybe, or an update or something like that. Uh, I certainly wouldn't mind seeing uh, another dice game in, actually. But this has all the beginnings of a classic, and it's already a lot of fun, man. So, I mean, $4.99, guys. It's less than, you know, a, a fast food meal. Do it to yourself. Join me on the open sea here. I hope you all uh, give Peruvian a try yourself. It, it's it's uh, it's pretty damn fun, frankly. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm Bones for Bones and Gary. Um, I know Gary and Shelly have some other stuff going on for you guys this week. Uh, I might have another Let's Play for you all as well. I'm looking into a few things, so we'll see um, this week. Anyways, uh, I've had a great time showing this game off to you guys. Hope you enjoyed it, um, and I certainly hope you get it, because trust me, you know I don't recommend every game to you guys, but this is one of those that I'm highly recommending to you guys. So uh, enjoy your day, and thank you for tuning in. All right, we really appreciate you guys, our, our viewers. Uh, and don't forget we have that contest going on. Uh, look back at our uh, first Let's Review segment if you need to know what that's about. And you can win something very cool. That's all I'm going to say. You can win some treasure. Kind of. In its own way. Alright. I'm out. You guys have a great day.